Up, we're getting our first close, up close look at the damage caused by a huge fire in East El Paso. Now that fire destroyed or at least damaged five businesses at a strip mall on Lee Trevino. KFOX 14 Morning News reporter Ashley Claster is live there to show us what the business owners will find when they return today. Ashley. Kajal John, I would say more destroyed than damaged. This is absolutely devastating. This is probably one of the worst fire damage scenes I've been to in my career so far. Um, just to give you some perspective of how broad this damage spans. It's about the size of a football field from the left side to the other. It starts at Smokies and ends all the way down here at Firestone Tires. Uh, it's just absolutely destroyed. There is smoke smell in the air. There is debris everywhere. The dangerous part right now, though, nobody is allowed near this front facade, not even firefighters or building inspectors right now, because they're worried this front facade isn't stable. They think this could fall at any minute, so they're waiting on the building's permits and inspections to get here, deem this safe, then firefighters and crews and inspectors can go in there and start to then investigate as to what caused this fire and how much damage is caused here. I can tell you, though, it's a lot of damage. One of the owners says it's probably millions of dollars. And this is one of the owners here right now. His name's Angel Garcia, and he is the owner of Com Compumex, and that's the b uh, building right behind us. Uh, I, the devastating sight this morning. I drove up and saw you and your wife holding hands, looking at the damage. What's going through your head right now? You know, you, you get a smile at, at, at the fact that we're fortunate to have been outside the building when, uh, when this happened because, I mean, I'm just glad nobody got hurt. Um, my first instinct was to go inside and see if all my, com my customers' computers were okay. Um, Lieutenant Rodriguez, Samuel, uh, Samuel over there, um, explained to me that it's in our best interest to be safe, uh, and we're going to do that. Uh, fortunately, I'm I'm blessed enough to have Plan B, yeah, and, and that's <laughs> my Plan B right there. Uh, Royal uh, River Oak Properties, uh, they're, they're going to put a, an electrical uh, outlet there for me, and I'll be able to to work uh, from there because I'm, I'm on the clock when the customer comes in. I, from my neighbors, I understand that uh, Trevino Transmission, um, Oriental Hut Restaurant, just Google them and look them up on the uh, on the internet. Uh, Farmers Insurance, all state. Just Google them, call them because they will situate themselves somewhere else to be able to serve the customer. All right, Angel Garcia, I'm so sorry for your devastating loss. Thank you for your time. Hey, thank you. He's lucky enough to have a backup plan right here in the parking lot. A lot of these businesses aren't as lucky, and I have seen just in the 10 minutes I've been here, I have seen so many people driving by saying, "I've grown up eating at this restaurant, going to this strip." business mall and it's just kind of heartbreaking to see all of these business owners and families who will now be out of a job and a place to work. Reporting live in East El Paso, Ashley Claster, the KFOX 14 Morning News.